So we got this information um, that came out uh, a few days ago. It's taken me a little bit to sort of cover it because I had Kill Corner Club, I had other videos to make, and I thought this was sort of less important than people are making it out to be. Now, we got these two pieces of concept art from someone called John Bigione. I think that's how you say his name. He's a Ubisoft concept artist at Ubisoft Montreal. Now, he dropped these two on his art station account uh, seven days ago. One of them is titled Fortress, the other one is titled Forest. There's nothing to say this is Assassin's Creed, but this is Assassin's Creed. This, this is a talking point, and, and I think that there's not any more information to go along with this. This is just going to be my opinion, because uh, this is all we've got. Of course, I'll have these both on screen at the same time, just to sort of talk about them as, you know, you can see them there, and I'll link them in the description as well. Now, there's concept arts done all the time. There's concept art that we've seen that Ubisoft have done for Assassin's Creed in the Wild West. Uh, there's concept art for Assassin's Creed that was done to uh, show things we've seen, like uh, Renaissance Italy and there's also been ones again like that we haven't seen like World War 2 just because someone has concepted something in art doesn't mean we're getting a game set there it doesn't mean we're not either but just these being released people have sort of lost their shit and be like oh my god the next game is gonna be set in Japan and whatever and that's not necessarily the case at all because you know Ubisoft concepts things all the time, all the time. Like, you, the amount of concept art we've seen for Origins is probably not even scratching the surface to how much concept art they did for this game before they even started making it. I'd bet that this game wasn't even possibly, you know, it, even before it was confirmed to be set in Egypt, they were like, okay, so what time periods can we do? Let's concept thing, let's concept Japan, let's concept Rome, let's concept Egypt. And they came to, oh, well, we're gonna do Egypt because that works the best. Now, these other ideas, like possibly Japan, whenever this was made, we don't even know when this was made. There's nothing to it other than the fact that it was posted at this date. And you've got to remember that around the same time as well, he actually posted some concept art of Italy from Assassin's Creed 2. And we know that that's not the next game either, so why is everyone losing this shit specifically over this one. It's simply because it's something we haven't seen before and people just immediately jump to, oh, it must be the next game, which is just not the case. Like I said, around the same time, maybe a day or so apart, one day he posted uh, Florence from 1470 whenever, um, and then he posted the one of Japan, and they don't mean anything. <laughs> like, they're, they're just art that Ubisoft has done to show environments that could work for Assassin's Creed, things that could just be backdrops and things that could be shown in the background of modern day or, and something, you know, there's so many concept arts we've seen in things like Assassin's Creed um, 4 Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Rogue that are just that concept art. Uh, we're never going to see them ever in an actual game. Um, like I said, with World War II and with Wild West, we're never going to see those games, but the concept art is there because they just want to concept art. Like, why not? Um, and that's the same here, I believe. This, this, I believe that Japan is something we could see down the line. I do believe that we will see Japan at some point. I think there's such a demand for it that I think it's something they will be doing in years to come, but I don't think it's the next game. Um, whether this is something that's in the pipeline or whether this was something that was scrapped or something that was just a concept art because they wanted to see what it would look like, we don't know. But just this being in existence does not confirm that the next Assassin's Creed game will be set in Japan, and I honestly don't think it will be set in Japan. I think that it kind of makes no sense to set up this character of Bayek and have Bayek that is so, so well received by, you know, pretty much all of the Assassin's Creed fan base and the mainstream fan base. You know, we haven't had a character that's been this universally loved since Ezio, and Ubisoft would be insane not to use him to make more money. You know what I mean? It makes far more sense to go ahead and make a Bayek sequel and follow up with Bayek's story because a lot of people are saying, oh, what could they do the sequel? Why, he's just in Egypt, I don't want another Egypt game. Guys, what the fuck are you talking about? They just write him in to do something interesting. Like, what do you mean? Like, people are saying, like, oh, but, but, but the story was finished, what else can they do? It's like, they can do whatever the fuck they want. It's fiction. They can write whatever they want. Like, the fact that I have to explain that is just ridiculous. Like, people, you know, when Brotherhood was done, what do people think? Oh, Cesare's dead. What, what else can he possibly do? Well, let's write him to go to another place for some reason, whatever reason we want, because it's fiction. You can write whatever you want, and that's the same with Bayek. He goes to Greece for whatever fucking reason we want because it's fiction. So they'll just write in a really cool reason for him to leave Egypt. A really cool reason for him to have another goal to achieve. The same way they did with Ezio. It's not difficult to write a sequel to something, you know what I mean? In, 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 in most cases, it's somewhat easier to write a sequel to a well-received character because 
that story is also peddling like off that character so like with brotherhood the story i think is one of the strongest in the franchise of course but it's not as good and as story driven as two was and that and but but it's still loved by the by the by the fans because it's following Ezio again, and we love Ezio. So the story doesn't necessarily have to be as good. That's not saying it's bad. A Brotherhood's not, story is not bad. I'm just saying it's not as good as two. And so, really, what we need to do um, is, if we're gonna have Japan in the future, I'm completely all up for that. It's a fucking fantastic setting for this new, uh, you know, style of Assassin's Creed being an RPG. Fucking awesome setting. I would love it. You know, uh, loads. But let's have a sequel with Bayek. That's what we need to work on next. A sequel with Bayek because. Let's be honest, that's the best way to go. And a lot of people are going to, you know, say a lot of different things because they're fucking dumb. But, you know, the way that marketing works is Ubisoft know how to make money. And how to make money is not throwing away a well-received character. The, no matter which way you look at it, it's not. And people are going to say, oh, but Greece wasn't even ancient Greece and ancient Rome wasn't ancient Rome. So? What do you mean? You don't have to go somewhere at the height of its perfect time period. They didn't go to Egypt during, you know, the reign of, uh, you know, Tutankhamun or whatever. You know, they didn't go during Ramses II. You know, they didn't go during like the old, the old kingdom where you would have had all these, all these glorious sort of buildings and the pyramids were just built. They didn't do that because they didn't do that. And you got to think Brotherhood. You know, they, you know, that Rome is not the greatest Rome ever at all by any means. But they went there because that's where Ezio was, and they wanted to do a story with Ezio. And you got to remember, these aren't history games; they're action adventure RPG games now, set in historical periods. And Bayek is in a time period where you can go to a Greece, you can go to a Rome. And it's not the pinnacle, possibly, of Rome and of Greece. And I don't think the Egypt we went to was the pinnacle of Egypt either. But it was fucking fantastic. Because the story was great, the world was great, it was amazing. And you can do the same with Greece and the same with Rome in the time period the bike lives in. Because they're still interesting. Just because they're not the pinnacle of ancient Greece and ancient Rome doesn't matter. They're still going to be super interesting to visit. And that's going to be awesome. Um, a lot of people have been saying, you know, we'll play as Aya in the next game. Mm, no, we won't. That makes no sense. Bayek is the main protagonist. If they're going to do a sequel, they'll do a sequel with the main protagonist that everyone loves, not a character that we barely played as that a lot of people don't really like. So it doesn't really, it makes no sense to me to go ahead and, and do that. But I, I mean, this video is about the Japanese thing. So, I mean, I'll make a video soon talking about why Bayek needs a sequel where I can go super in depth and actually talk about it. But, um, because I'm super, I'm honestly really passionate about this and a lot of people are being really stupid on the topic. Uh, but I mean, that's, we get that a lot in the Assassin's Creed community where people are just not thinking before they say things. And it just comes out as just nonsense. But, um, there's that. In terms of Japan, like I said, I want Japan at some point, just not next. Um, but I do want it, and like I said, these don't mean anything. Uh, so, I mean, we'll wait and see what happens, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Get talking. What do you want to see from Japan in the future? But, like I said, i pretty much 100% sure this is not the next game. It's a, It may be a game in the future, it may be something that they scrapped, but it's not the next game. I'm fairly certain of that. Um, because, well, Ubisoft definitely would not allow them to post this up, and the fact that we've all been covering it definitely should have been taken down by now were this the next game. They don't want things to get leaked, especially this early on. So, thanks for joining, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you guys enjoy Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you all bloody next time. Goodbye. Mm, you people have suffered too long It's time we take a stand Unite cause together we're strong if I and take my hand, I'm hearing whispers on the wind. Born from the shadows, origins are these the flames I see.